political wars and very weak politicians are hurting our frontline military officers and corrections. Never back down from being proud of our flag. Never back down from defending the people, the men and women who have fought for our freedom. You don't have to apologize for being proud of the American flag and being proud of our country. Always be proud to be a police officer, a correctional officer, a military person. Do not let the weak people drag you down. There are many, many, many more people who love you and defend you than there are that do not. Always remember that. You just don't see them. Why? Because the people that back our military, that back our police, that back our corrections, they don't say anything. They don't have to get out there and say anything. They know, they know already that we are strong and we will remain strong. Now, do I want peace? Of course I want peace. I want there to be peace. I want all this arguing to go away. I am sick and tired though of people saying, you cannot say all lives matter. It can only be one life matters. That's all lives matter. It's, it's, it's everyone in this world matters. I sure hope so. If not, then certain people definitely have their mind on wrong. We must help everyone all the time. When there are wrongdoings, we must investigate and take care of that problem peacefully. But the peaceful protesters cannot do anything peacefully with antagonists, looters, and rioters, and people who just hate everybody. We must make a safe environment for everyone. That's including our uniformed officers. And the frontline military and corrections and police are always suffering because of political or politicians trying to benefit themselves and not the country, making it dangerous for us to discuss anything without offending someone. I can tell you right now, I haven't even gotten far into this video and there's people offended right now already. And I'm actually saying we all must get along and help each other, but nope, that's not good enough. Something I said about the flag, about the blue, about the gray, the thin gray line, about the military, and something I said has already got somebody upset. And it just amazes me that certain people feel they have the right to say what they want and we let it come out and the media really lets it come out. But other people do not have the right to say what they want. Making it impossible for those people on the front lines to protect and serve properly. How long will those boots on the ground have to bite the bullet? In other words, how long will the front line people trying to defend our country, defend our communities, have to bite the bullet and suffer being killed and injured every day? Somebody thinks that's right? because there was a wrong we must kill because someone did wrong. We need to take care of the wrongs, but we can't take care of it by destroying everything and then killing people trying to defend their communities and the property. The front line is catching a lot of flack folks for trying to do their job with their hands tied behind their back. What do I mean by that? Some mayors, some governors are saying, go out there, but don't do anything, just stand there. So now an officer is being hit in the head with a brick and they defend themselves and they're suspended. Or an officer is being slapped in the face and he or she defends herself and they're being suspended. 
What has gone wrong, folks? Not everywhere. It's just certain states and certain counties. There are many, many counties and states not allowing this to happen. Thank you. Are we going to allow these weak politicians to destroy our country and destroy the security that protects us while we sleep at night? There's millions and millions and millions and millions of people sick of this. And let me tell you, these threats about coming into our neighborhoods, that's where your downfall is. You want to come into the neighborhoods, you won't win, you can't win. Not with 64 million people defending themselves with guns or more. That will destroy those of you wanting to tear down this country. And come on into our neighborhoods and see what happens. We will blow you out the front door and then we'll check the back door to make sure there's nobody coming in the back door. Yes, some cities and states may have governors and mayors that are weak and want to bow down to violence, to people being injured, to people being killed. But that's not everywhere, folks. I notice you're not coming into those areas and causing trouble where you know we'll defend ourselves. Does that send a signal to anyone that we could stop all this? Yes, we can stop all this violence and let the peaceful people come in and discuss issues with government, and police. People have tried speaking peacefully and it's working in some areas and I'm so proud of that. And for those of you that have already left this channel and put your negative comment on there, you should listen to everything I have to say because I'm not dictating hate and violence. I'm dictating peace for all, including peace with our military, our police, and our corrections, and, and these threats that are coming out right here against our correctional officers. That's very nice, isn't it? Isn't that a wonderful way to fix problems and correct problems and make peace? I just had to get that off my chest today because it's just sickening of some of the weakness that exists in our country. Weak-minded. Some person was caught destroying and looting and arrested, and he said, I was just trying to get me some money. Has anyone ever heard of work? Work for your money? Or is that something that our future holds that we're not going to do? We're just going to turn this into zombie land and live out of boxes and get food wherever we can unbelievable mindset but that's okay don't let it get you down folks there are many more people millions more people than this type of person I just talked about in this country we all know who we are and we all know that we will get it right thank you for watching please subscribe Gary York, True Prison Stories, talking today about defending the blue, defending the gray, and defending the military. The thin blue line, the thin gray line, and our men and women in the military, thank you. God bless you. God bless our American flag and let it fly strong again. Thank you for watching.